the Cinemondo podcast again, ongoing <laughs> series. Um, today we're going to talk about do a trailer reaction. Uh, Vida <laughs> Mui, Muiarchi. Yes. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Vida Muiarchi. Is that correct? <laughs> it's got a double A in there, which I think means that you sustain that for just a second. Is that, Vida is that, Muiarchi. Is that correct? Yes, I think that is Vida correct. Muiarchi. You guys tell us in the comments how close we are. This is still hard for dumb Americans. This is a Tamil film. It's a uh, action thriller. It's the big thing is it's starring Ajith Kumar, who hasn't been in a movie for a few years. I, I also did a review of this with Melanie. Be sure and check it out with her on her channel. Also, I wonder in Birkin because he works on films. He knows a lot about cinematography. And I was so blown away when I looked at this with Melanie. I wanted to get Burke's opinion on cinematography in this because it just looks gorgeous. We just did a little double take on this one. And I think I think you guys will enjoy it because a little more of a technical conversation. So be sure and uh, oh, okay. check it out. Yeah. And we'll do some so, posters at the end. So we're going to talk about trailer, another reaction. And then we'll look at posters and talk about the marketing. Okay. So I have to really pay attention to the kind of technical aspects here that yes. I'm about to see. All right. Yes. Pay attention. Sounds, sounds interesting. Are we ready? We're ready. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Stop. All right. And okay. everybody okay. quiet and action. <laughs> that sound. The yeah. Hawk. The music's great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so another interesting little tidbit about this is the uh, actor's big into race car driving and into cars. So I love that he has some big car stunts in this. Right. He probably designed those. You know, <laughs> believe it or not, it's kind of difficult to drive a car on two wheels like that. Uh, is it? I, I don't have any trouble with it. I don't understand why people have such a hard time doing that. I know you don't, <laughs> but I'm talking about with normal people. Normal like, people? <laughs> yeah. Get through the LA traffic by... That's the only way to do it. Car up onto the two wheels and go in between the lanes. Yeah, like exactly. It's the only way. Most people can't do that as easily. But um, anyway, know. what this movie looks like to me is it looks like a looks like kind of a Mad Max kind of vibe to it with the desert, the kind of of that feeling of desolation. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Like maybe they're trying to track down these killers out in some you know, remote, desolate, deserty location. I have no yeah. idea where they filmed it, but it's beautiful. I know. It's a cool place. I mean the gorgeous blue skies. I don't I was blown away. This is Magzi Magza Terameni, which I probably said that terribly. He's the director. This is also music by Anarud, which I loved how he made it sound when it first started, especially it almost sounded twangy, like almost like it would be like a desert la movie which i i can see why they think this looks like it was done in uh, los angeles because it has that desert looking thing yeah. like the last scene in seven remember when they drove way out in the yeah, middle of nowhere yeah. and it has it's kind of industrial you know all the the power lines but it was just 
dip bear desert. Yeah. I love that big open space. And I got a very natural born killers feel to it also. Just that driving around, yeah, like causing trouble. The, the guns right into the camera lens. Guns right yeah. in the camera. But it was all big sky. Like it was all during the day too. Like a lot of it was this broad daylight, which is really unusual. You think it'd be more moody. And even the interiors were shot in a really beautiful way. Like it just seems like they spent an extra amount of time on getting the cinematography to be special. And just that one shot, that beautiful shot where he's in the restaurant and the door closes, you see it reflection. That is a gorgeous shot. I mean, yeah. it just looked like, almost like it was like his thoughts, you know, this woman standing out there. So I thought that was a really gorgeous uh, trailer. Reflections are really hard to film. I've worked yeah. on some things where they've tried to, you know, let's incorporate the reflection and let's have, because you have to light I mean, you have to make sure that he looks good. You have to light yeah. him in a way that looks good. You have to light her in a way that looks good. Mm -hmm. And you have to light her and light him in a way that when the door closes, you see her yeah. and he doesn't interfere with her as much. Right. You know, it's like he goes into darkness a little bit. Yeah. There's enough darkness. And that she becomes clear enough. And you also have to think about the rack focus. You have to focus on him. Mm -hmm. And then when the door closes, you have to rack the focus to her reflection. It's it's I've I've worked on things that had shots like that. Sometimes they'll do it digitally. This may have been done digitally. They could have added her reflection later. But I I don't know. I have I suspect that they may have shot it in camera yeah. and done it and just done it because um it's it's very bright and in the desert, you know, wherever that was. And I yeah, think that was great. Very, they're you know using reflector cards and stuff to get her lit nicely yeah. but the the idea is that you you have to make sure that both of the images that you're including look good on their own right and that's really really hard to do i've worked on things where it would take a whole day to do a thing like that and sometimes even in interiors you know because when you're doing an exterior like that it, you lose your light you know yeah. And if you're really on location and you're not shooting a lot of green screen, which a lot of people use green screen now, and they'll shoot their background plates, they'll shoot all their desert background plates, and then they'll come back to the studio and they'll light everything like sunlight. They have beautiful, incredible technology to light everything inside and yes. make it look like outside. And they'll stick those green screen backgrounds, those desert backgrounds behind them, and you can have total control. In other words you don't have to worry about losing the light like you do right. when you're shooting on location. A lot of times it's like, okay, you know, if, if we wait too long, the shadows are going to be different. And if you cut and back and forth in a conversation out standing out on the street, this person's shadow goes way down the street. And then when they cut to the other one, his shadow is a little short shadow. So it's like yep. we shot it at different parts of the day. <laughs> That's right. Ruins everything, and the shadows ruins on their everything. faces are changed. You have to turn them around to face the light, and it's horrible. But if you have a background plate that you shot at noon in the desert, you can use that all day. All and day you long. Can use it all the next day, and the clouds are the same in the sky. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, that's great. In some ways, digital technology, uh, green screen technology, makes makes things a lot easier to tell your story. Otherwise you have to go out to that desert for six days. And it's like, okay, at 1205 yesterday is when we shot this. So right. we have to shoot, if we shoot at 1205, we can match these shots as far as the way the, the quality of the light, as long as the clouds are similar, it's so complicated uh, to shoot outside. And it looks like most of this was shot outside. You know, the <sighs> movies like this and, and um, you know, Fury Road and all those Mad Max, especially the early ones before before mm -hmm. the green screen technology came yeah. in the way it has. You could d digitally erase clouds. Like if yeah. you have That's one right. shot where there's no clouds and you're cut away to a shot where there's tons mm -hmm. of clouds, you can digitally erase clouds right. if you need yeah. to. Things like that. That's right. And I thought it was interesting too, that shot, because it was straight into that. I'm going back to that door closing scene. Yeah. You also have to shoot all that and not show the camera. So I thought right. that camera, yeah. like, where was the camera? I thought that was really well done. I guess it was shot, reportedly shot in Azerbaijan. Yeah. It's Azerbaijan. Like, um, it's in Eastern Europe. Yeah. I think it, they shoot a lot of movies. The boundary there. of Eastern Europe here. and West Asia. So yeah. apparently there was some uh, conflict there. So they had to leave yes. and then come back. And um, supposedly Ajith did a car action sequence where he did the actual driving. 
and did not use a stunt double. And everybody is oh. very freaking out about that. That's his passion. That's what he likes to do. So I'm sure he thought, hey, I can handle this. I can do it. So let me do it. Didn't use a stunt double. So I thought that was pretty cool. But it looks like, I think this looks like a really cool movie. It had a really crisp, clean cinematography. There was no grit to this at all. Just clean, bright, beautiful cinematography. I can see why people think it has that Hollywood look to it because it just has that big, broad desert look. But then it brought in some cool, big stunts. It got some big, wide angle, you know, that sort of fisheye gun in your face. A couple of those shots where you swing that gun around. And you're like, ah. Uh, yeah. But it looks really fun. And I'm glad you were here to talk about the special effects and the... Um, the challenges of shooting in the desert during the day. Also, we have some posters and it kind of ties into the desert during the day. Yeah. It looks really cool. Like he's, I like the, they have that palette where it's, um, they made it all warm, brought in a little bit of teal, and then just yeah. add a little bit of teal to the sunglasses. That's kind of a nice Orange touch. And teal vibe. It's really yeah. pretty. And you don't get away very often with just showing someone really small on a poster. For some reason, everybody just wants everybody big. So that's kind of a yeah. cool poster. And then we have, we have this poster, which I love this idea when they do these, the kind of double image where, you know, one is kind of ghosted in and then you have, um, then you have the sky in his face. So it makes him even more ghost-like, but then you have most of the detail in the, in the uh, inside uh, vignette, which is right. a nice shot. This yeah. is like a contained vignette inside, like a holding device, which I like kind of a true detective vibe. They did a lot of that in there. We have this one too. Yeah. Because you're bringing in a scenic also. It's not just like right. the people posed it's in front. People sitting but I see what you're talking about because they do have that. Yeah. This is another like, this is the couple that we saw. We're not, I'm not sure about. Again, I love the palette. The palette's really nice. Yeah. It has the same light, you know, kind of cool thing. I love the cream background instead of just white because cream is really nice. Yeah. Then we have a couple kind of teaser oh. things like, ah, bring it. Woo. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, it's really scary. I don't know what happened here, but it's promising some shit. Yeah. Something happened yeah. to his face, but not his hair. He's, the hair is good hair is perfect and it will yeah. always be perfect and then we have another kind of cool gritty you know it's funny because th these are what i expect it to look like but it's yeah. not what it actually looks like i think that's why you know they'll give you the poster it looks like a thriller it looks like he's getting some revenge trying to track down his wife or whatever his wife is kidnapped apparently but that's why i like this i almost wish they had gone just for color with that we're with him really low at the bottom and that just that huge blue sky would be great they kind of did a little bit of that here you can say that blue sky is so yeah. great and i think that's what makes it so unique so very cool i'm very excited to see this movie it looks really special and they have honoru doing the music who i love and i love that he like and brought in a little bit of that twangy kind of cool music and then yeah. it's gonna be great I, i'm looking forward to it yeah and the location and it looks like it's got some mm -hmm. stunts out there they i think they shot one of the james bond movies and oh yeah Azer, azerbaijan azerbaijan and they apparently that's been used for a lot of uh, films they have a big wide open space Right. Yeah, it's without having great. to fly over here to California to <laughs> pay all the huge fees. So much. Let us know what you think of this trailer. Are you as enamored by it as I am? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I thought it looked pretty great. Fun to see like an older guy getting getting yeah. top billing and kind of being the hero of something. Yeah. You always feel like, you know, older people kind of get a little bit left behind with the younger guys yeah. coming in, but it's like, you know, they older people can still be sort of, <laughs> you know, tough and well that's what i love about indian movies is they have a lot of older like legendary actors yeah. get to be top billing and they get to come in and be a badass so i love that they still let their heroes do that it's pretty cool be sure to subscribe like and comment and we'll catch you guys next time bye bye everybody